Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. Now you've got your vertical video set up in your After Effects project. And all you need to do is compress a file that you can then upload to Instagram. Now it's important to note that Instagram won't let you upload through a traditional web browser on your laptop or computer or what have you. You have to actually use the app which is usually confined to either a tablet or a cell phone. So, when we actually get the settings set up, I'm actually going to render mine to a cloud drive that I can then access on my smartphone or tablet device. So, to start let's look at our animation. If I double click on the balloon insta comp, and then press the space bar here you'll see I've got my balloon floating up and stopping in the middle of my project. I will press the space bar to stop playback, and to load this into a properly compressed format, I need to use Adobe Media Encoder. So, I'll go for Composition, and I'll choose Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. That should bring Media Encoder to the front. It may take a second for the app to actually launch if you didn't have it running already. Now usually one in compressing things for social media, I go to the preset browser here. But I know if I go to the web video section. Under social media, you can see I've got Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube. But no Instagram. So, the way I get around that is to just come right here in the VQ section. And the first drop down here I will click on it and make sure that we've chosen H264. Now the next preset I'll click on the drop down I like starting with match source high bit rate. Then I'll go ahead and click on that blue text to open up the export settings. And here I want to go to the video section and scroll down. And if we scroll down in the video section here. I could set what's called the target bitrate for this compression. And the most normal and widely accepted target bitrate for Instagram stories is 3.5. Now the overall duration of the animation should not be over 60 seconds. And if it is 60 seconds it will get divided up into 415 second chunks. Since this is so short 5 seconds, we're good to go I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I've actually got this loaded up. Now all we have to do is specify where we're going to save the file. So just click on the blue text underneath the output file. Already line straight to this folder and click save. So now I can go ahead and render this. And what's nice as this is rendering, I could go back in After Effects. And continue working, but as you can see that was very fast because that was a very short animation. Now since I rendered this file to my folder, I can simply copy it to Dropbox or whatever your favorite cloud management service is. And then you can go ahead and upload your video directly through Instagram. Just remember when you're compressing that file, they're looking for H.264. At a compression setting of about 3.5 megabits. What you learned. Create a video file for Instagram send the composition to Media Encoder for Output 1. Select the composition for output. 2. Choose composition add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Allow Media Encoder time to launch if it is closed. Set the Media Encoder settings 1. Set the format drop down menu in the queue panel to H264. 2. Set the preset drop down menu to match source high bitrate. 3. Click match source high bitrate, blue text, to open the export settings panel. 4. In the video tab, scroll down to bitrate settings and change target bitrate megabits per second to 3.5. Click OK 5. Click the blue text in the output file column to name and specify where to save the file. 6. Save the file to cloud storage so that you can access the file for uploading through Instagram on your portable device. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.